After setting up the part location, it's helpful to take multiple pictures of the part so that you can move it around the workspace and it'll be identified no matter where it is. So these two parts that are in the workspace right now have multiple pictures taken of them. So here is group one, and if we go down to locate part, it will show the pictures that we've taken. So this is the first one, the second one, and the third one. So I tried to do a, um, take it up here in the center and down here to get a good, um, good range of pictures. I did the same with the other part in the workspace, um, but for this one I took four pictures. As you can see, it's not identifying this one. This was the one taken directly in the center. But as it moves around the workspace, it's not always identified perfectly. So the way this is set up, uh, here is a group. You put all of the different pictures within the group, and we'll need to shut off the include in job pass for all of the, the four pictures. So those are the ones all called pattern. Pattern one, two, and three for group one, and four through seven for group two. We'll shut off include in job pass, but you have to include a logic statement that says if pattern four, pattern five, pattern six, or pattern seven pass, then the entire group passes. And so I'll show you how to set up one of these right now. It's pretty simple, kind of the same way we were setting up which I have done, I will update clicking the trigger. And here's a new part, as you can see. Oh, actually, it's identifying this part down here. So this is something we'll need to we'll need to fix. And again, that's in our settings of acceptance and contrast. Um, but we can we can focus on that later. For right now, we're going to show you how to set up this part. So same thing as before. Pat max pattern. Add. We want to make our search range the entire workspace and then model focus and on the object let's zoom in make sure may need to move the part slightly to be at zero orientation take another picture Okay, that looks a little better. And then we'll bring it bring it in. Okay. And click okay. So here's your image like before. Need to make sure to change the rotation to 180. And over in general, right now it's linked up to pattern five because that's the um, last part that we made, but we want to link it to none. So we're gonna move the part to this um, top corner. <clears throat> And then we will click the trigger again. Move it in a little bit so it's not cut off. And as you can see, pattern eight is not detecting this even though it's the same part. So here's where we take our second picture. So again, pat max pattern, add the pattern, make the search region the entire region, move the model over, zoom in, and put a box around it. And we'll click OK. OK, 
again, links to pattern five, we want it linked to none. We want to click off include in job pass, which I forgot to do in this one. Include in job pass, and then the um, rotation, 180 degrees. And then let's go back to our full workspace. We'll move it to the Click the trigger button. We'll see if it detects it. So the good thing is it does detect it. Now we'll try this top corner. Since it doesn't detect it, we should take a third picture here. So once again, pat max pattern, add, maximize the search region, and then put the model box around the object, and click OK. hundred and eighty degrees of rotation and then include in job pass and then it's not connected to any tool fixture so we're all set there and now we will just continue to take pictures and use them in the workspace until we find a problem so already okay so it's not detecting that with any of these. Now we have taken three pictures, so maybe we just need to change the contrast or the acceptance. So we'll try going up a little bit. This first one, maybe down on the acceptance. Okay. So we'll put it at 45 for this one. We'll try moving it around a little bit more. trigger. Okay. Move it again. Move it again. As long as one of the three patterns is detecting the image, the uh, logic statement that we're about to add will work. So we just need to kind of try moving it around, around the workspace and as long as we get a, a good idea of all the potential places it could be put, um, we should be good. So as you see, there's um, it's not detecting it there. Try to find the one that's closest to this. This one was done in this section, so maybe we need to change this one. I think the reflection right here is what's causing an issue, but maybe we can try to change the contrast a little bit and the acceptance. We'll try the, this one as well. But if this doesn't fix it, maybe we just take a fourth image. So we'll try that max pattern, add, search region, model, Zoom in and close the shape. And then click OK. So we'll try moving around a little bit more. I'm going to put it on continuous trigger. And we'll just watch as it moves if it stops being green at any point, if any of the, the four stop being green. So 
it looks like we are having some success. We'll shut off the continuous trigger. And now we can set up our logic statement. So down here in inspect part. We'll click on math and logic tools. We want to choose logic, add. And then we'll say pattern, it's going to be 8 through 11. Start with eight. Right. Sorry about that. Okay, pattern eight. The expression we want to insert if pattern eight passes. Or pattern nine passes, or pattern ten passes, and finally, if pattern eleven passes. So that's our logic statement. And we want this one to be included in the job pass, but we'll double check and make sure we didn't, oops, yeah, we didn't want to include any of the four. So now we can add in our group. And so uh, here's a search bar. If you know what the tool you want to use is, but you don't remember what group it's in, or you just don't want to click around, you can just type it in here. So group, add the group. And then we want to add all of these to the group. So I just clicked shift to select them all. Click add. And now all of those are included in the, in the group. And as you see, the group passes. So we'll try this again. We're going to move the part around where it's safe. Click on the trigger. As long as group B is always green, then we are doing it correctly. So we'll click that again. And we'll click it again. So it seems to be working properly. And uh, this is what you'll do to set up parts 